um, today I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be showing you how to do a tomato on Tinkercad. So first, you will like to go to Code Blocks. We're gonna be doing a tomato just like this one. So we're gonna go to Create New Code Block. And just wait until because it's loading. So then you click on new design. And then there's gonna be like an a, like a name here. So you could just click on there and change the name as you want. I'm gonna write tomato. So first step that you're gonna do is you are gonna like to grab a sphere and a sphere and put on the center. You could use any color you want, but of course I'm gonna use red because of tomato. And like that, you click on here and you click on the play button and you can see like how big it is. This means like how the top, the back, right, back, left, front, you can see like different angles. You can make it bigger like this if you want to like have it closer. This is a, you have it like switch it to perspective view. Then here you can make the code bigger or smaller. Then you will want to add a create variable. You can find that on math. You know you're gonna grab that and don't like um zip them together. You're gonna go here the where it says item. You're gonna click and you're gonna click on rename variable and you could call it rotate. Okay, and then it change. You will like to put this night. Um, you will like to put thirty. Um, this means like how many times it's gonna rotate. You can add like as much as you want, but I'm gonna leave it for thirty sec for three times. Then, um, you will like to grab a con. You're gonna go to control, and you're gonna grab a count with. You're gonna stick that here with this one. It's gonna look like this. And then you're gonna want to put this um, six. It is like how many times it's gonna like do the thing. How many times it's gonna rotate everything and everything. Then you're gonna want to have a. You're gonna want to go to modify and grab one of these that says move, and you're gonna put it um above the add one and you're gonna add the x it's gonna be zero zero the z is how fat you want it it's gonna be 20. then from this is how much the ratios you want like how um how big you want it and steps is how many like things you want to put so you will like this that you're gonna want this a double so 20 and this one 30 um this one thir 36 like that then this is gonna be 20 like i just said then you're gonna grab one of this that's called scale you're gonna grab the scale i'm gonna put it above the move and you're gonna put one then 0.8, so that's gonna be like 80.8. And you leave the one like that, just one. So the scale is like how big, or like, let me let me show you guys. Like that. And the scale means like how many times it's gonna do the thing. You can click on here. And it's gonna go faster. Or here and it's gonna go really slow as you guys can see look every single time that you make a change like if you move this it's gonna say processing and then saving
So that means like you save your your like things that you do. You see. Then you're gonna want to have a rotate around that one. You can find it um right here. Let me find the um the modify scale. You get the rotate and put it above the scale like like every single one. So you're gonna want to change the axis. X to axis Z. Then you're gonna want to go um to data and find a rotate and put it by the ninety. And um you're gonna want to add on math one that it's this one. That's that's like a number. Um, th yeah, that is like a number and the plus and minus sign. So you will like to have to take out. You're gonna want to grab one of this ones and put it um out here. Then there are gonna be zero zero zero. You're gonna like to have it like that. Then you're gonna want to grab a set item to one, and you're gonna put it above this one, and you're gonna change it to rotate again. Then you're gonna say two, then you look for this one, and a rotate one. You're gonna put it on top of this one just like that and then move it to here. Then this number you're gonna want it to 30. This one is gonna stay like a plus sign and it's gonna be a 30. Just like that and it's gonna be looking something like this. Here you can make it like this and you can see. So I think that's good. Then like here, you can make it like a fast that you want, like I told you. And yeah, let's continue. The next step you're gonna, um, we want like the stick on the tomato, correct? So we're gonna grab a cylinder and we're gonna add it right here. Then put it like there, like stick it there and I'm gonna do it like at this screen. And the ratios, as you can see, this is like really big, like a long one. So you will want this, um, the ratio of a two is how thick you want it. The height, um, how tall, how tall you want it, you will have it 30. The sides is how many sides you want the shape to have. We're gonna make that um, probably an eight will work. And then the zero, you're making it like that and the steps is like that. So it's gonna kind of look like this. So let me make it like a little bit faster. And it's gonna make it like that. So you're gonna see like it's right here. So for that, we're gonna need one that it's called um, move. So we go to um, modify and we look for the move. I am um, scale move there. So then we're, we're gonna want to do the Z to a 29. Let me move this here so you can see it. So then you will like to um, add like the flower that the always tomato has. You're gonna go to shape and let's say, let's get a star. This one, it's a good work. So you're gonna add that one and you can make it the color as you want, but I'm gonna make it dark, up the darker green that there is and I'm gonna do it um, five sides. The ratios 
gonna do a five. So this is part two of making the tomato on Tinkercad on code blocks. So we're gonna continue going like I was saying, doing the star. So you will like to have the sides five, the radius a five, an inner radius 0 0.5 and the height 10. So then we would like to have go to um go to go to modify and get a scale. You're gonna add that above the uh, the add of the star, and you will like to have the x at two. The x means like of the left, the left like this one, and the right like this one is the y axis. You will want that at two too, and the z is how thick you want it. Here you want to have it at point five. There you go. Then you will like to have a move. And you will like to have the Z to a 40. So then um, you are completely um, finished. Let me just put this smaller and it's going to look like this. Something like that. And that's gonna be your final project. You could always change the color, the shape, and how big or small, or thick or long you want it. I like to do the star like that because you have never seen like a perfect tomato, I guess. So this is how it looks from the tops to the bottom. And that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped.